You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and the Big Light. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. Once again, we back live at the round table. Lenny S, Maya the B, and I'm Big Light. And we are chilling very hard. Oh, Lenny, what they call you? Osama Ben Swaggin. And Maya, a.k.a. the Brazilian Air. And I'm just a.k.a. I'm going to rob your ass. It's all good. Straight up. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Irk, a.k.a. Mr. Aladdin. <laughs> Mr. Johnny <Chami> Aladdin. <laughs> then we got Jeff, a.k.a. AKA the Black Swabby. <laughs> and we got Christine, All right, y'all, Retro Blue, kid. in the house. Christine Retro Kids just ring left. Ring Retro Kids is good. What y'all think about Christine, the, you married? The Illusionist. You got a boyfriend or two boyfriends? The Illusionist. Two? But then Special oh. K fucked up his flow. So then he couldn't finish his show. Yeah, K made him run up out of here. He was two for three, though. He was. He was doing really Special good. Special K. would have pulled that off. Five somebody who he pulled, who wasn't. Would, who would have agreed Urkel to Urkel the... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Not we got Mike Shorey here. Lenny has some good agreeing. Right? We have Mike Shorey here. Mike Shorey is in the building. It was like that in high school. We got my man Ice Urk. coming up, too, in a minute. Urk. It Mike was Shorey like that in high school, Urkel. Mike Shorey is about to through these doors. That's all oh, I know. Oh, shit. Oh. Mike Shorey is in the Oh, shit. Mike in the building, dude. You guys remember him? He's done uh, fabulous stuff shows. with he's fabulous, done a lot right? Of different hooks. Yeah. He's seen everywhere. So let him let him kick it. So tell us some of the stuff you've been doing, Mike. How it started? What's popping? You gotta get close to the mic, though. Really oh. close. How many okay. shorties you hitting? I mean, we want it all to hit. Yeah. Um, you know, everything's good, man. I've been working. I was out in Atlanta for a little while working with different producers. You know, I was uh, linked up with Deron Jones from. Um, but hold up, my, my bad, Mike. Just let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Tell them, you know, how you started. Records you did, just oh, to get them, you know, familiar right. with you. Okay, so for those who don't know, um, I'm Mike Shorey, I was like, first time I came out, I was with Fabulous. I did records called um, Can't Let You Go, Baby, Make You Mine, Baby. Up the Street Dreams, mixtape album. There you go. Been around. Where you from, Mike? I'm from Brooklyn, Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Okay, okay. cool. Crown with Kingston, Utica, Franklin. No Chanel. No Chanel. Oh, okay. You were with the whole fabulous crew for a while. Were, were you yeah. signed to Def Jam? No, no, no. I was signed to um, Street Family. That was That's Che and them? Yeah. Okay. Che and, and yeah. everybody. Okay, so what happened with that deal? Just because I think that a lot of people have known um, known you, Mike Shorey, from doing a lot of hooks with Fab. Um, but now you're no longer working with Street Fam, or is uh-uh. that true? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, so true. now what are you doing as a independent artist, R&B artist, to promote yourself and keep your buzz going? Well, right now I'm, I'm in the studio recording. I got the company, Crown Town Entertainment. Okay. And, What's um, the company say it again? Crown Town Entertainment. That's Crown, Crown Heights? Town. They based in Crown yeah. Heights? Okay, cool. And, um, you know, I've been working, man, just recording, and I got a song playing on Hot 97 now, Cypher Sounds is pushing that. I got the mixtape coming. Guess who's back? What's the Posted song? Because we've heard it. Um, I love you in every way. Okay. Old reggae joint. Like, it's a reggae single. You going to perform it for us? You uh-huh. You going to rock it for us? I don't know. I'm a little under the weather, but I mean, I'll give y'all a no, little something. You know, I, I know. Perform, uh, Mike Shorey came last minute. He was like, he just came here. Like, he had mad yeah, things to, to do. Love, and he bro. was like, he really squeezed it. us no in. Doubt. Last minute. But well, you know, we just have a thing on here. We let the talent shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, you know, I'll spill a little something, but I uh, I think I'll be able to get up and perform. That's under okay. The weather, under the weather. So what are you working on now? I mean, for like, something's coming out, like a new album's getting ready to come? Yeah, the mixtape is coming out, hosted by Cypher Sounds. Guess who's back? You know, and um, the single, Love You In Every Way, is playing on Hot 97. Okay, is it so the same as that. far as an R&B artist doing a mixtape that it is like a rapper? I mean, um, it's, I mean, it's I mean is it worth doing it? Right? You know what I mean? Like where rappers, you more have to break rounds as a rapper doing mixtapes and get it out there, but... Oh, yeah, well, it's more mandatory for a rapper to do that. Yeah, you know, but um. Nowadays, you know, you, you it's good to do that, you know what I mean, to get your own buzz, right. you know what I'm saying? So you want all different crowds to, you know what I mean, respect right. What stuff. else can R&B artists do, though? Because, you know, I mean, that's more so, like I said, like you said, on the rap side, because you're trying to break ground, you're trying to get into the, you know, in the business and on the street, uh-huh. and the more people who listen to hip-hop are more prone to buy a rapper's mixtape, I guess, than before, right? An R&B right. artist's right. mixtape. So what else can you do out there, um, that, you know, to get... Basically, man, I just... you. I mean, as far as to get that kind of crowd, you just got to be able to appeal to them and, and, and talk about what they talk about, be able to relate, you know what I mean? So, like, my mixtape is not, they're probably going to expect to hear, like, slow ballad type music. But you got you know, R&B, hip-hop stuff got flowing. R&B, hip-hop stuff. You I spit, too? Ballads, something like that. So you got flow? Yeah. Something like something that. Something like, Definitely. that's not, well, you say. Well, I definitely got flow. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, yeah, if you yeah, spit, yeah. you spit. I okay. mean. 
so but I don't, I don't rap though, you know. But it's you do I enough mean, to keep your record high. Yeah. I'll okay. be a little something later on, like that. So there's been other artists as yourself, like yeah. Little Mo, who has actually come up doing uh -huh. a lot of fab hooks. Uh huh. She also tried to go mainstream, but it didn't really work for Little Mo. What is your gonna? What is the difference between you and an artist like Little Mo? What are you gonna well, do to make yourself? You know, as a solo artist, right. give yourself a buzz. Um, like well, like I was saying before, the mixtape thing is a real good way to um get yourself out there. You know. Okay. Because you know it all even for R and B artists. Even for R and B. Okay. Because the, you know the same people you're trying to reach out to that can get you to where you need to be, you know, in the streets. You know, it all comes back to the streets. So once you get the hood buzzing and you know from that ground up, you're good. You know? Right. Tell them how they can holler at you, Mike. They want to book you or get you for a show or oh yeah yeah you can check out at your me, music. Uh, yeah yeah, Mike Shuri singer slash songwriter at myspace.com. Right. You write songs too? Yeah. I'm sorry. Like every, you write all your music? Yeah, everything. So you, are you willing to write for you know other artists yeah, in the definitely, industry? Definitely. That's what's up. So we can't get anything from you, ain't no type of like happy birthday. Yo, he said he gonna do a little something. Oh, I could give you a little something. It was Lenny's birthday a yesterday. Flow. Anyway, come on. It was Lenny's birthday. Oh, you oh, well, you know, you go in on how you feel, you know. <laughs> he needs a happy... Wait, but actually, we're about to go to break, but cool. there is a white rapper from BH1's The White Rapper Show that has a special crush on you. She wanted me to give you a shout-out. Oh, okay. Do you know who that is? Um, yeah, I got an idea who that you is. You do? Yeah. Is it the new show that's on now? When we come who is back. It? Who is it? Wait a minute. We come you... back, though, to the round table. Right. We got a new artist of the month, my man Ice. But is it that new show that's on now? Oh, cause I can't really say all them girls on that show look Nike. I can't really say who got a crush on him. Let's go, y'all. Don't shrink that screen. Who's can is here, baby? That's right. We in the building. Brooklyn in the house. You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Light. Okay, everybody. On with the show. Take a seat and tune in.